men, this law will affect you greatly. Men, this law will affect you greatly. What's up, everybody? My name is Kier, and you are watching the important things that really matter. Today, we're going to be talking about men. This law will affect you greatly. And the main focus on what we're going to be talking about today is this brother that I met probably about five years ago. Brother had did about 25 years in prison. And the story is very, very interesting, extremely interesting. And since it is so interesting, and it's not too often you get to talk to somebody that did 25 years in prison. And so I want you all to share this video with as many young African-American men as possible, even many older African-American men as possible, because this subject is extremely, extremely important. And so anyway, once again, we're going to be going over my conversation with this guy who just got out, who had got out of prison, who had did 25 years in prison. And so, but the subject is, men, this law will affect you greatly. What law am, am I talking about? I am talking about the law of reaping and sowing. The law of reaping and sowing is the law which your grandmother, your great-grandmother, your great-grandfather, all these people knew about this law. This law is in the New Testament. The law is in the Old Testament. What does this law mean? In the New Testament, it is stated, whatsoever a man or woman soweth, that shall they also reap. Whatsoever a man or woman soweth, that shall they also reap. What this means in a nutshell is this, whatever that you do to another person, whether it's good or evil will come back to you. In other words, if you do good to people, good things will come back to you. If you do evil things to people, evil things will come back to you. The problem is nowadays is that so there are so many people out there who have not be, been told this. This is a physical law that you see happening every day on farms. And when you go into the grocery store, you see the law of reaping and sowing taking place. But there's a spiritual law talking about the law of reaping and sowing. And I'm going to get into it today so that you don't make any major mistakes. One of the things I made the point to try to do throughout my life is to try to treat people right. Try not to harm nobody. Try not to do nothing bad to anybody because I knew and have been aware for a long time that a person reaps what they sow. I always want to have good things happen to me, so I try to treat people with respect and try to do good things for other people so good things come back to me, all right, instead of evil things. You have people right now who are who have all types of having all types of financial problems, all types of health problems. You have people who who are all hell's breaking loose in all areas of their lives or in many areas of their lives. And many of these people just do not realize that many times it could be a result of what you have done to other people in the past. And so we're gonna get into this. This guy that had that I have met at a, a job about five years ago who got out of prison just who had, at that time got out of prison after doing 25 years in prison and so anyway what a lot of people don't understand especially a lot of young african-american men and young men period in general is this there are a lot of rappers a lot of male rappers a lot of female rappers that promote using the street pharmaceuticals and now even if it's not the rappers that are promoting the street pharmaceuticals in many states in many cities around the country there is legalized pharmaceutical use okay so it will encourage people to go ahead and partake in that when it can actually cause you a whole lot of damage down the road so anyway this particular brother once again had got out of prison after spending 25 years in prison now what he did not understand was the law of reaping and sowing. When you are selling street pharmaceuticals to different people, what you are also selling to people is a pharmaceutical addiction. The same person that has an addiction to the pharmaceutical that, that you are selling them, that the money that they are that they normally would use to take home to the family, to take care of their family to take care of their households, to spend time with their family, to spend time with the kids or so, 
they're bringing that money to the person who's a street pharmacist as opposed to taking that money home and taking care of their family with. And so one of the things that you need to understand is that if you have sold anything to somebody which has caused them to get an addiction, yes, you are not responsible for them getting an addiction, but you sold the street pharmaceutical to them which develop an addiction to them. And so what a lot of people don't realize is that these people that have addictions are basically in a spiritual prison to the addiction. Uh, most of their money is going toward the street pharmacist instead of taking that money home to take care of their family with. And the end result is you're taking out a mother or you're taking out a father that would normally spend time with the kids like they're supposed to. And many times the kids of these people that have an addiction to a street pharmaceutical, many times those people are put in foster care. So you, the person who have sold the street pharmaceutical to a particular individual such as a mother or father or one of their kids or so, you're going to reap what you sow. It is written in the Bible in the New Testament. It is written in the Bible in the Old Testament. You see the actions of this happening over and over again. And so when you see people who have now an addiction to the pharmaceuticals that you sold them, you'll, what you will reap eventually is being restricted or put into a prison because of what you've done. There are too many people, too many people, too many people who are now in prisons because of the evil that they've done to other people. Okay? So there was this brother that was out here. He was a street pharmacist. He was selling and had been selling for years. Had been selling for years. I didn't even know this guy was was like this until the, until I met this guy, a job that I had worked at probably about five or six years ago. This guy had told me, because uh, we kind of found out that, I found out that the guy was into poetry, and I'm into poetry also too. I perform poetry, I write, I'm also a music producer. In addition to being a automotive engineer, I'm also a studio engineer and a music producer. And so, and also do, and I'm also a poet. And so when I found out that this brother had a big interest in, in, in spoken word poetry, we were talking and I was telling him about different places where he can go and how he can perform and how he's going to really, really enjoy it when he goes to these different places. And that's when the brother had told me that he had just got out of prison and that he had been in prison for 25 years. And the guy, basically, you would have thought that, I, I mean, he totally shocked me when the guy told me he had just got out of prison after doing 25 years in prison. And so I'm like, wow, are you serious, man? He's like, yeah. He said when he was out there, he was selling left and right. He was selling left and right. And see, what people don't realize is that you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. If you're doing evil to other people, evil things are going to come back to you. These people that he sold to formed a pharmaceutical addiction to the pharmaceuticals that he was selling to them. So basically, in a nutshell, they're in a addiction prison. And so he eventually got put in a real prison, which is what you call the law of reaping and sowing. And he spent 25 years in prison paying his debt to society and reaping the evil that he has sown into his community. So it does not matter how many rappers talk about how they were selling pharmaceuticals on the street and this is how they came up and all these different things. If what you are selling is destroying different people's lives, destroying people's families, then you're gonna eventually reap what you sow. It's in the New Testament and it's in the Old Testament. But most people don't know this. This brother, like I just said, just spent 25 years in prison. Now he's a good brother. He don't want to do nothing wrong. When he leaves work, he goes straight home. He doesn't go to the bar. He doesn't go to the club. He doesn't do any of those things. He goes straight home from work. 
because he had been in 20, been in, he don't want to be around anybody that can get him in trouble in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And young men that are out there, you should be staying away from any and all people that you even have an inkling that they can possibly get you into trouble because hanging around the wrong people can derail you, derail your life from being successful. And so you must remember you will reap what you sow, whether it is good or whether it is evil, okay? So I don't care what you see the rappers talk about trying to glamorize how it's such a good thing to sell uh, pharmaceuticals on the street, they will eventually reap what they sow. So please take this into mind, young brothers. Please share this. Please like, please share, please subscribe. This is so, so, so important for you to share this video to many younger African-American brothers and even older African-American brothers also too because people reap what they sow. And so to avoid you from being in the same position as this brother who just got out of prison for doing 25 years in prison, take heed to the advice. Stay on the right path. Stay away from people that may get you into trouble because you don't want no one to derail your success. So please like, please share, Please subscribe. Once again, my name is Kier. You are watching the important things that really matter. Peace.